Yeah, um, we are here to protest the uh, unjust cancellation of the Apple 78. The name, of course, uh, I can't say them all 78 right now, but it's uh, Mr. Timber and 77 others were been unjustly arrested. To give a brief background, they were commemorating um, the June 16, which is the day of the African child, which is uh, a day where we remember the atrocities com committed by the, uh, the apartheid regime in South Africa. So the Zimbabwean government, by arresting fellow Zimbabweans on this day, it, is a, it shows a commitment by the government to commit you know, the letters and uh, abort the legacy of apartheid. And um, that, uh, that legacy is oppression, oppression, and denial, and abuse of you know, uh, human rights, abuse of uh, people's and citizens' rights to you know, freedom of expression. And uh, it's a, a, a commitment to further repression. So we are here today as it is raining, and we are saying no to this because they are being arrested if you don't speak out. They will be out up and down to say that something is over. And this winter in Zimbabwe, here where we are, it's summertime, but in Zimbabwe it's winter, it's cold, this is overcrowded, and they are suffering. And their arrest is just but, you know, a, an indication of many more who claim down upon as we go on. We've seen the government has already released a statement threatening offenders, their lift uh, We know in Zimbabwe there is over 90% unemployment rate and uh, people are living, you know, with informal jobs. So we know more are going to get arrested and thrown inside for the government to pay for the side of the But what is Sadat? What is Sadat doing in all of this? Sadat Today remarks 23 days since the arrest and detention of Senator Jensen Timber in the Afon number 78 by the regime in Harare. In pictures, uh, there are people in the UK, the Zimbabwe, they are protesting today outside Parliament Square. Much is evil, free timber, free timber. Uh, this is wrong, this is unfair. You could have got to Barkusungi, one Makaiva Snack Para, Barkusungi, Rajan Java Snack Rita, but I want to make and other diasporians there in the UK uh, delivers a speech uh, as they in the UK as they protest against the unjust arrest and detention of the um, Jameson Timber and Afondio 78. The 78 include Langton Wanaka, Kanzela Kausa and Mr. Hontongwa. Dibo bangu bangu waka sungwa hao apachitu uh, kuichi. Asi itawona kutiba nwa jinji waka chika madzika ne and the sacrifice yet on my desperate and some other nas nukta kuti kujinezi unfortunately um ku UK they are in summer but today it was raining asi wabuda ni wandu wawo in support we are in solidarity with the Jameson Timber and the 78 others which is Ayuka you must free them we must free them apatawona ma politicians aka wanda bachit Ayuka wangwana akumataru is mwoshapa high court paninga paka hiririka sesu Tona watanga kunyora kuma atani mtandi awo na the likes of X wakaita sana uh, gift to salo sisiba and um, organizing champ chairperson away uh, citizens movement and over evil vach baya vachit ayuaka mangwana let us go ne wandu wedu ku high court na si ita wano wano vachitala chuka siyana siyana vachipindu la zwa hitu anima dresporians ariku UK vachiti evil you may look small, but your solidarity goes a long way. We know you take it further to corridors of UK power. Tell them to support Sadak as it moves to reject San PF and Mr. Mnangagwa for refusing to engage with the same 23 Zimbabwe report. It makes their government illegitimate and cancerable. This is so sad. How come Kutibano Ungo, Batsaba Namatimba, and Nanas? It's been 23 days now since their arrest. No bail, no anything. But imagine, like a song, one now, we have a snack para. A papata one was a car, a gift to establishes my story, e a chitty. At 11 a.m., let us converge at the Harare Magistrate Court in solidarity with the 78 innocent citizens unjustly incarcerated by the regime in Harare. We must stand together and as a people and demand their immediate release. 
injustice anyway is injustice everywhere be sure tomorrow we will be there free up on day 78 fill up the coat tomorrow it might be a great day for us and thank you in advance we love you so much don't forget to call for a celebration for the completion of more perfect role uh, recently completed for the new parliament but there is a video actually and that was on the mega and got it to tell when they ran my experience are who you gave a hit in watch me lines on the zero with the gems on timber right i work and come on but this is not what is an innocent soul for just uh all of us we have breath the rain and thank you for coming over we are here to show our displeasure towards uh, the continued incarceration of Senator Timber and uh, 77 others who were arrested on the 16th of June, which is the day of the African child, where they were commemorating the, you know, the struggles and the brutality co committed by the apartheid regime against uh, innocent uh, civilians. Um, so our protest is also protesting the Zimbabwe government's gesture by arresting uh, these people on this day because it uh, shows their commitment to upholding the legacy of apartheid, which are human rights abuses, which are uh, shutting down the democratic space, which are uh, denying people's freedom and rights to, you know, to, to expression. So we are here because the arrest in the beginning is illegal and it's being done ahead of the Sadak summit, and, uh, the, you know, which is appalling considering that uh, Sadak should be a community of peace, a community of political tolerance, a community of uh, political freedom, a community of upholding, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, people's rights. But then, in the name of preparing for Sadak summit, uh, people are being persecuted. We are also very much concerned about uh, this continued incarceration because the Zimbabwe government is threatening more. This happened to 70. Eight are not the only political prisoners. They are also uh, the Mtuakas Republic. Uh, they are eight. They are worth two in incarceration. Uh, and they are also threatening to arrest more. So the threats against informal traders. We all know in Zimbabwe the economy is not in a good shape and over 90 percent, with over 90 percent unemployment rate. And the government, in preparation of the Southern Summit, they are threatening to claim down also on formal economy workers. So this protest is a protest against you know, the abuse of uh, the justice system by the government and we are immediately demanding uh, the immediate release of the Avondo 78. We are saying uh, to all Zimbabweans, we need to speak out. Uh, the, uh, an injury to one is an injury to all. Uh, you know, injustice anywhere is a threat injustice everywhere. And uh, we need to speak out, especially those in the diaspora and those who can. We need to speak out because we have the opportunity to act, to petition international strategic partners who may have an influence in Zimbabwe. So we need to speak out in our numbers. We need to speak out. That's how we fight for our rights. That's how we, we also stand out for those who are getting oppressed. And uh, we all are today demanding that, uh, you know, free the Avondo 78. Free the Avondo 78. them all 77 right now but it's uh, Mr. Timber and 77 others who have been unjustly arrested. To give a brief background, they were commemorating um, the June 16, which is the day of the African child, which is uh, a day where we remember the atrocities com committed by the, uh, the apartheid regime in South Africa. So the Zimbabwean government, by arresting fellow Zimbabweans on this day, 
it, is a, it shows a commitment by the government to commit you know, the letters and uh, abort the letters of apartheid. And uh, that, uh, that letters is oppression, oppression, and desire, and abuse of you know, uh, human rights, abuse of uh, people's citizens' rights to you know, freedom of expression. And uh, it's a, a, a commitment to further repression. So we are here today, as you can see, it's raining, and we are saying no to this. Because they are being arrested if you don't speak out. They will be out up and do this like time is over. And this winter in Zimbabwe, here where we are in summertime, but in Zimbabwe it's winter is cold, this is overcrowded and they are suffering. And their arrest is just but you know, a, an indication of many more who clamped down upon as we go on. We have seen the government there already released a statement threatening offenders, they are left out. Uh, we know in Zimbabwe there is over 90% unemployment rate and uh, people are living, you know, with informal jobs. So we know more are going to get arrested and thrown inside for the government to prefer for this other country. But what is Sadat? What is Sadat doing in all of this? Sadat is defending the people. Sadat is ensuring that there is peace and people are getting their rights in the region, in the public in particular. Sadat should be about ensuring that uh, the legacy of apartheid is rejected in Georgia. Sadat should be about ensuring that people's livelihoods are upheld and protected and not to be abused like what you are seeing and like what you will see in the country. Okay. So we are here to send a clear message and to all Zimbabweans across the world. We need to speak out wherever we are. We need to, you know, uh, make advantage, take advantage of our capacity to speak out what those in Zimbabwe. They can't do the same. They can't come out and say to the like what we are doing. They can't uh, speak out against oppression without getting persecuted. I am speaking from experience. We all have experienced being abused for merely speaking out, which is their personal right. So we are here together to say, free the African 78. Free the African 78. Free the African 78. Free the African 78.